Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 16th of 2019. Well, it is t titled BHB 2007, a baby binary star in formation. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken with the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, otherwise known as ALMA. And it is looking in detail at a binary star system forming. Now to give you an idea of the scale here, this entire image here from side to side is about the size of the orbit of Neptune. So, so we are looking at something that is roughly the size of our own solar system. Now within this we see a couple of dots and bright dots here and these are not the stars themselves the stars are still in the process of forming but these are actually disks around the stars so disks of material that are condensing to form the, the stars. So at this stage we have what we call a protostar or something that is in the process of becoming a star. They have not yet become a star which would require a the ignition of nuclear fusion at the core. So that is something that is still millions of years away. So this star formation process is a very slow one by our standards. It will not happen next week or next month or next year. But over the next million years or so these stars will slowly coalesce and form a binary system two stars close together. Now this is not unusual. We actually find that most stars are actually in multiple star systems, sometimes binary, sometimes more than that. So our sun is more unusual among stars for being all by itself. The nearest star system Alpha Centauri is actually a triple star system with two stars close together and then one star that orbits around those two. So we see many of these and we see a large number of binary star systems in the universe, but also multiple three or four stars in the same system. And here we're getting a chance to study one of those as it is forming. Now, as I've said, we'll never be able to study it in detail to watch these stars form. But one of the ways we can do this is to look at all different stages so we can find others, other binary star systems that are further along this process and others that are not quite this far. And we can use that to kind of piece everything together to get a better understanding of the process by which stars form. And that leads to a lot of other things because we then begin to wonder about planetary systems forming. So how are planetary systems going to form here? Well, that may be more difficult in a binary system, although not imp impossible. Certainly you some of this excess material will not become part of the stars themselves, but may be kicked out of the system altogether or may form into planets. You could have a planet orbiting around these two stars. So it's something that is possible and something else that we want to study in addition to looking at the stars forming themselves. So that was our picture of the day for October the 16th of 2019. It was titled BHB 2007 a baby binary star in formation. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.